Hello everyone. So friends, in this video, we will learn how to use design dialogs with template editors. So yes, the design dialog plays a very important role with template editors and it doesn't work like uh, a generic thing we used to work. So in the dynamic templates, okay, I have a hello world component and I have a CQ colon dialog. So I will just make a node CQ colon design underscore dialog and I will be having the same nothing no change so paste it here and there more there are some things which I need to copy so I will copy them here so paste so you can see in the page base page template I will just unlock it once and uh, go to the policy and the page component is my project so I will check here and I will click OK so when I drag and drop this particular component in my parses hello world component so okay there is uh, I don't have any concern about what is written inside it so let me clear it all and this is my hello world actually I copied it from somewhere else so maybe it is not finding its java classes and all so there is no not any concern so you can see that there is a policy here and in this I can see text so to make it confirm that it is a design dialog only okay let me go over here and I will just change something like text design dialog so if I go again here so yes so I can enter anything here and this will be saved as okay need to create a policy for this so design policy maybe no not any problem here and where these values are getting saved so in the static template we used to save value under etc designs but here it won't so here we will go to this structure and refresh it and we have a root under we have a hello world and we have a policy associated with hello world so we can directly go to policies so once i need to show you that in the hello world there is a policy connected to this and we will directly go to that particular policy sorry under content under hello world under policy you can see that this is test page written so there is nothing like uh, special to fetch these values we can fetch it as we were doing it with static template current style dot text so if we will refresh it this is getting test page so need to unlock this component so that it can be showed up to the all the pages created from this template so refresh it uh, I need to change it to edit and we can see test page here as well so yeah this is how uh, you know design dialog works with template editor so we have much more things uh, with template editor using hide conditions so first of all I will take an example of uh, you know am out of the box component and will then I will take one more example so in the list component okay we are having a list component so let me change it with my project okay so that because right now it is not showing over there so I have just changed its name okay now maybe I am able to see the component in the list yes, this is a list L1 so there is a thing uh, if we go to the sorry if we go to the design dialog so how we go to the design dialog we go, we go to the policy 
of that particular component and here you see disable children disable static disable search disable tags and there are some these fields so first we will discuss about these so if we disable children so okay let me show you the default scenario so if we open this particular component we are able to see there are four fields so i don't want one author to just configure all these four fields in a page so uh, what i can do is i will go to my policy i will just enable one thing disable children so list policy i can add and i will only want to show disable children in my drop down so i go here here there are Oh sorry 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 i i mislead your you so by default all the things are showing up all the things are showing up but when we disable children so it disables uh, children from the drop down options so you can see that there is there are only three options right now so if we go to the page we can see only sorry we need to uh, unlock it to show it on the page so refresh it and now i can see only three fields over here so i if i want to show only more, more less fields like i don't want to see so static i i don't want to show search so i can directly go to the page and in the page i can configure only tags nothing much so how these things we can achieve so this is a very interesting scenario here in the secure design dialog we have some check boxes you can see there are some check boxes there are some check boxes are there you can see disable children this is a check box so i have if i don't want to uh i don't want to show children in the list i what i can do so uh this is my disable children in the design dialog in the design dialog and we when we go to the dialog you know if we go to the dialog we, okay so children so we want to show children only if there is a condition true if author ya yeah, template author disables the you know children it doesn't show here so disable children so what is the default value unchecked value is false and if person makes is true so we are making it on a true false condition so if hide it when it is true so if the value of the disable children it's true it won't show here so let me just take you to the scenario so if we go to the structure if we go to the structure and we go over the root we go over the list and okay we can directly go to the policy where the values are being stored so i want to go wcm core components list v1 list policy and okay so what is the default value right now true so green uh, so disable children is true right now so if uh the list component okay so i have put here secure design dot disable children is true so hide it otherwise show it i think it is more clear to you we we can take one more example over here in my my project so okay i have a text component let me copy it and just paste it okay so in the dialog i have one more field let's suppose okay and i have a uh, uh maybe i have a description okay and i want to show the description only if title is there 
old template author has filled a title otherwise don't show it so let me change its value this description and i want to add a property greenite colon height and i will just copy that particular thing what he is using so what i will make it okay note in the notepad first of all we will create our own then okay so we will create if not empty so if cq design dot title is not empty save it as false otherwise true so if title value is not empty save it as false otherwise true so we will copy this we will paste it correspond to this particular thing so add okay so refresh the page and what where is my component this is my component so go to that particular component okay i have configured the test page and if i go to the child page okay maybe i have done something wrong let me check my syntax once again uh, i can copy the syntax from here so syntax error is you know very crucial in this case so i will copy the syntax from here so i will change my variable i will just change my variable title true sorry that was not title that was text so i think that's the only problem we were facing text okay so let me copy here the condition okay so again let me refresh the page and i need to see there is no value no you know no description here so if i go here and i just remove all the value i can refresh it once again and i can check okay i can see the description so this is how granite colon hide works so there is one more scenario with the uh, you know with the properties so first of all i would like to say it works on true or false so it is very important that you check the conditions over here boolean conditions so there is another scenario so if we have the same title in the cq dialog and we have the same title in the dialog and if template authors you know author something in the design dialog so page author won't be able to see and he may override even he don't want it to be so what the things we can do here so in the same example we will learn how to do it so in the text it is a template author is entering something and i want to see the value what he has entered so what can i do okay sorry so what I, i can do text and if it is not empty i want to show it same otherwise i want to show it empty now i think it is making a sense so what is my condition so in the cq dialog text i am adding a value in which i am adding a condition so if cq design dot text is not empty then it will show me the value otherwise it won't so i will go here sorry 
I will author something like test page another I think I did some mistake actually if we did any mistake in the uh, you know uh, this expression so it always shows me error so let me take it from here I always used to copy it from somewhere else because you know we cannot take any chance to make any mistake so we will change it with text we will change again it will text and now this is empty so if the value will be there it should show that the, me the value so I will go here I will copy okay then I will refresh the page once again and if we open it yes we can see the test page whatever value we configure here we can see here so it helps me to you know know that okay template author has authored it and if I really want to override I can do it from here uh, there is one more you know example we can take for this now it is a list component and there are item settings so maybe I have configured through two true here and one in false so yes on the page level if page author is supposed to author something he can see that okay template author has authored these two particular things and now this is up to me if I want to change it and uh, uh, the things should remain like he has set so this is how uh, checkbox also works text box works we can see also how checkbox it is working with the example so you can see that there are simple checkbox there is nothing like uh, the simple checkbox and in the checkbox we have set that if not empty uh, CQ design dot link items then pick it from CQ design otherwise make it false so that page author can decide whether he want to override or not so these are some interesting things which you need to know on template editor uh, thank you